Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Christy Wichuku's Brilliance TV show. This is where we showcase the defining moments and accomplishments of today's top business leaders, entrepreneurs, unique, and most successful individuals. Guess what? This is where you come in because this show cannot exist without you. It's about your journey. It's about you being able to share your message and impact life. And we do this show every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. When? Every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Before I jump into today's conversation, I am reminding you that if you want to be a part of this conversation, I want you to go over to women's coachingassociation.com. It's women's with an S, women's coaching association.com and become a member today. And you will click on the membership information and find out how you can be a part of this amazing community and also be a member of Women's Coaching Association. Now, don't forget to join us again on November 17th. We're going to have our next summit, November 17th. We just had another, we just had our first summit um, last Saturday, but we're going to have another one November 17th. And I really look forward for you to be either be a part of this community as a member or get to join us and listen to all the amazing speakers of this community. Now, again, we also have on the 24th of this month, members only information. We are going to have our training our trainer is going to be Tanya Hoffman, the CEO and founder of Public Speakers Association. She's going to be talking about how to transform a stranger into a VIP. Did you hear what I said? How to transform a stranger into a VIP. And you want to be a part of this community, go over to womenscoachingassociation.com and join us to be a member today. But I am so excited for today's conversation. Super excited for today's conversation. I have a guest joining us. My guest star today is Amber Griffith. So who is Amber Griffith? You get to hear more of her. But I want to give a shout out to a lot of you out there ready to join us, already joining us, that this is a conversation you don't want to miss. As you listen to this conversation, as you watch this conversation, I want you to also share this message to other people. So who is Amber? Amber Griffin. Amber is coming to us from your brand by design. That's right, your brand by design. It's about branding rock star. That's what she's known for. And she believes that every entrepreneur has a unique story and a voice that needs to be heard. And her job is to make you bring whatever message that you have to life. Amber has spent two decades working with business owners, creating brands worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And so today, you get to hear it from the rock star of the brand in herself, Amber Griffin. Amber, are you there? I am. Hi, Christy. Hi. Thank you for joining me today, and uh, I really appreciate all your help. And for those of you watching, Amber is the reason we have an amazing, amazing banner. So if you go over to womenscoachingassociation.com, you see a great banner. She is the designer of those banners. So don't... Don't forget to take advantage of her offer by staying till the end of this conversation. So, Amber. Hi. Wow. <laughs> it's been a week since we met at, uh, we, well, actually not met. We've been talking, but physically met at Las Vegas. And I was so pleased to really interact with you and get to see you in person. You as well, Christy. It was so good to finally put a, a face and a, and, a, and a personality to that voice. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So we're going to dive into this conversation today about branding and designing, which is what you are good at. And I thank you so much for really, really putting out in the 
front page by designing an awesome, awesome banner for us. I appreciate it all. My pleasure, absolutely my pleasure. So tell us a little bit about who Amber Griffith is. You know, oftentimes people get to the top, but we don't really know how they get there. And I've always said there's a journey for every person is in the, on the mountaintop. There's a journey that gets them there. But oftentimes we don't get to hear the journey. But it is in those journeys that other people will see themselves. It's in those journeys that other people will have an attitude I can do it too. So pull the curtain a little bit and tell us how it all began for you. Oh my goodness, all my dirty secrets. <laughs> I don't know that I'm necessarily at the top of the mountain, but you, it's a great view from wherever it is I am on that mountain. It's a good view from here. Um, I have been in the marketing and branding industry for more than two decades at this point. And I started in graphic design because, frankly, that was easy to talk about. Everybody knows what a graphic designer does, um, whether that's a professional scrapbooker. Everybody, when you hear graphic design, you know exactly what that is. And so when I first got into the corporate world, that was easy to say, this is what I do. And so I spent about eight and a half years. Um, it gave me a really fancy title. They called me VP of marketing, which really just meant they didn't have to pay me. <laughs> and They put me in this basement and said, here, now be creative. And I did that, like I said, for eight, about eight and a half years. And I kept looking around thinking, there's more to me. There's, I have more to do. I have more to say. And I want to make a bigger impact than just this it was a large corporation. There were probably 300 independent contractors that I was branding for, but I kept thinking, there's got to be more. There's, there's just more to this. And so in 2007, I jumped. And anybody who's ever made that leap from corporate to being an entrepreneur, it is all about the jump in. <laughs> you know there's more out there. You, you believe you can do it. You believe that what you have inside is worth something. And you really want to make the world better and happier and, and you want to help people thrive around you. So I started in 2007 and I thought I can do this, right? Like this is, I've got this. I know how to create brands. I know how to, so I went to networking and cause networking's great. And I found my, I heard myself talk about what I do and I could not for the life of me find a way to separate myself from anyone else in the crowd. And so I heard myself say, oh, I'm a graphic designer. And there's nothing wrong with being a graphic designer. Please understand that. But it's about 10% of who I am and what I have to offer. And so for about the first three years, I struggled. I, I mean, talk about 20 bucks the hard way, you know, trying to figure out how to do business cards inexpensively just to try to get clients, just to try to get to some momentum. And I remember going to a networking event and someone there introduced me. I'd been going to this network for two years. And someone introduced me to a guest as, that's our business card queen. She'll do cheap, super cheap business cards. And I was devastated. I, because in my head I thought, I'm, I'm a branding expert. I'm a marketing strategist. How can you introduce me to that? Like, do you not know me? Do you not listen to the way I introduce myself? And then I came home and I was even more distraught. Because I thought, of course you listen to me. That's how I talk about myself too. <laughs> so I couldn't be mad at them for just repeating back exactly what I had said. And I thought, if I'm going to actually do this, and if I'm going to make the impact I want to make and make the money I want to make, I need to get some clarity around who I really am and what my story is and what my message is. And that, honestly, Christy, that was a huge turning point for me. Once I got super clear about my voice, my message, then I can stand on stage and say, I'm a branding rock star. This is who I am. It's amazing. I can help you get there. Let's rock. Let's just do this. And it's just, I've spent the last several years on stage going across the country, helping entrepreneurs get super, super clear about who they really are inside, not who they say they are, not who they thought they were going to be, not who their mama thinks they should be, but really who they are inside and what they we get in touch with, with the impact they want to make, the change they want to affect in the world. And then we get super clear about who they get to play with, their ideal clients. Because not everybody is meant for everybody. You know, you hear those people say, well, anybody, I'm looking for anybody who's this or everybody who's this. 
And when you try to be everything to everyone, you end up being nothing to anyone. You have to be someone amazing to someone specific. And then that's where the money is. That's where the joy is. So for me, it's all about creating that rock star brand that reflects who you are inside 100%. No apologies, no caveats, no disclaimers, just 100%. This is who I am and 100%. This is who I get to work with. And it just dramatically increases the joy and the money in your business. So that's what I get to do now. And I just love it. I love it. Yeah, I can just see as you talk about your brand and talk about what you do, it lights, you just, just, just <laughs> lights up. I love that because myself, as the person that helps women with their gain confidence and be able to express their brilliant value. I mean, for the longest, it was a challenge coming out and doing this work because putting yourself out there, it wasn't easy because you have all this head trash that yes. you're going through, trying to figure out who you are. And it's just not something that happens overnight, even though in your mind, you know who you are, but it's just being able to just get it out, tell people who you are, that I am that person that can help you gain confidence so that you can thrive in your chosen path so that you will be able to express your brilliant value. So I appreciate this conversation that we're going to have because oftentimes you hear about branding, but there are probably people that are new to business that don't know what is branding. So explain from the expert voice, what is branding? What is branding? I would love to. There's there's two different there's two different things I want to make sure that anyone listening understands when we talk about this. One of them is branding for sure. Branding in my world is everything you do, everything you say to create and nurture the powerful, profitable relationship with your ideal client. So it's everything you do online. It's everything you do offline. It's the way you introduce yourself at a networking event. It's the thank you cards you send at the end of business. It's everything. So from your email signature to your website, to your newsletter, to your banners, I mean, it's everything you do. So whether you think you have a good brand or you are not, you have a brand. It just depends on how healthy it is and how authentic it is and how powerful and making sure that it actually is cohesive enough that it will work for you so that it's a consistent message all the way across that will actually convert your potential customers into your ideal clients. The other thing I want to talk to people about is the word rock star. I use it all the time in my brand. I use it when I speak to my clients and to, and to audiences. It has become this word that's kind of awesome. Yay, you know, kick butt, woohoo, whatever. That's rock star. For me, rock star is a little deeper than that. Rock star again means absolutely no apologies. I mean, when was the last time you went to a rock concert and the lead singer comes up on stage and immediately just, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. I just, oh, my hip is killing me. And I haven't written anything new since 1994, but you know, whatever, let's do this. That is so not how they do things. They come up and they plant their feet firmly in center stage, spotlight right on them. And they say, you're here. I'm here. Let's rock. So no disclaimers, no apologies, just owning 100% of who they really are and who they are meant to serve. That's what I mean when I talk about rockstar branding. So it's just, it's nothing but authentic powerhouse between you and your ideal client. Wow. I, you know, when I think about, about you talking, I think about so many people out there. I think about so many businesses out there that don't know what it means to be branded because oftentimes we think that branding is all about the pictures and the logos and the image but yes. you're helping us understand that it goes beyond that it's not a, just about the logos and the images and the picture wow that is all great that's <laughs> not all that branding is so i'm yeah. going to ask you to explain yeah. to us why is branding necessary in a business oh my word. Branding is that, again, it's all those, all those moving pieces that go into that relationship with you, that you have with your ideal client. So you get to decide how healthy that is. You get to decide how cohesive and how powerful and how profitable. So your brand, again, it, like you said, it's not just that logo. Your logo's the ambassador. It's the flagship. It's the thing that everybody knows. It's the Nike Swish or the McDonald's Golden Arches. 
but it also includes your tone. Are you authoritative? Are you formal? Are you personable? Are you funny? Are you, you know, all about that style of your voice. It talks about, um, it includes your ideal client. It includes your colors, your fonts, your absolutely all of your style guides, all those moving pieces. Here's why it's super critical that it's cohesive. You should be able to, and here's a challenge for anyone listening, take every single piece of your brand, all of your marketing collateral, and put them on a table. You may have to print out your website, your homepage, but put them all out so you can visually see everything you've created, your business cards, brochures, whatever. And ask yourself, or have, better yet, have someone, not you, <laughs> come and look at it and see if it all looks like it came from you, if it all looks like it's attracting a very specific ideal client, if it has a very clear call to action, if sometimes I watch entrepreneurs and they get so worked up about trying to send out a piece or trying to get something online, they forget little things like their logo or a phone number or a website address. They just get missed. So part of why I do what I do is to make sure that that is so cohesive because that is going to do two things. One, it's going to make sure that your message out to your ideal client is always consistent. The, it has to be consistent because it builds trust and it also builds momentum. So you've heard some iteration, I'm sure, if you've been in business longer than two months, you've heard some version of you need to be seen seven times before you're top of mind when your ideal client goes to make a purchase, right? It's not just running by, poking them with a stick, going, are you ready to buy? Are you ready to buy? I've got my stuff. Here's my stuff. You have to build a relationship and you have to build momentum. And if you have a very cohesive, clear, authentic brand, if it clearly has your message saying, this is my solution, I can solve your pain, I can make your life easier, I can make your life better, here's how clearly I can do that for you. And if it consistently comes every single time you touch your idle client, whether that's online or offline, if it's consistent, it will build that momentum so that by the time they are ready to make a purchase, they can think of no one but you to buy from. It is, that's how critical your brand is. This is how you create that sales process. That is how you build those relationships that expand your world. Your brand is everything. Um, sometimes people confuse marketing and branding. Marketing is part of the strategy by how your brand works. So they, marketing fits into your brand. It's not the same thing. That's the part of the strategy, but your brand is so, so important with how you work with your ideal clients and how you build your business. It has to be clear. It has to be cohesive. Wow. You know, you say, you say so much. You say so much. And if I begin to dissect, there's so many nuggets <laughs> conversation. But I love it because this is what our audience come to hear about, about being able to put their business out there. Don't just put in their business, the business that makes sense, the brand that makes sense, the logo that makes sense. This yeah. brings me to, Another question, a follow-up question that is, what is the difference between brand, branding, and logo? What is the difference? Because oftentimes people use it interchangeable. What is the difference? They do. A logo is one small piece of your brand. The logo is that iconic piece that flows through everything in your brand. Every single piece of marketing collateral should have your logo on it. From your, from your business cards, your email signature, your thank you cards, your logo is that single image that gets to help carry your brand across the board and helps deliver your message to your people. It is one of those, one of the pieces that keeps your brand super, super uh, cohesive and clear. But it's not the only thing because again, you could have, let's say five different pieces of marketing, an online email, a social media post, um, newsletter, whatever you've got. And even if your logo is on there, if your colors aren't similar, if, you're, if the look and feel to it isn't consistent, if your message isn't consistent, if your call to action isn't consistent, it won't be branded properly. It's not going to look cohesive. It won't build the momentum that it could if all those other things were in place as well. So it's like, like for, for example, if I were to go through everything on my brand, I would say probably 25 to 30 pieces. If you've been in business for a while, you have a lot of different marketing collateral that goes into your brand. But the logo is one of 20 to 30 pieces. So it's important 
and it needs to reflect you and attract your ideal client, but it's not everything. Your brand is that relationship. Your brand is a series of promises that you make your ideal client. It's agreements that you have with your ideal client. And your logo is just the iconic stamp of approval on that message. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. You brought me to so something else I, I've always wondered. Maybe I want to ask you right now is okay. we talk about collateral mm -hmm. that goes along with your brand and your logo being one of them. Mm -hmm. So can you give us three more collateral? Oh, sure. Is this, will be in sync or aligned? Absolutely. Your absolutely. Your web banner is part of your marketing collateral, which fits into your brand. Um, any social meme, any social post, anything you put on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, that all becomes a part of your brand because the reason you're posting, presumably, is to build that relationship you have with your ideal clients. It's to attract them. It's to let them get to know you better. So that's another part of collateral. Um, an online newsletter. Um, I'm trying to think. Your pop-up banners. If you do a lot of trade shows or if you do a lot of speaking, if you're an author, all those things that go into a booth, your tablecloth, the banners behind the flyers, they're all part of your marketing collateral that help deliver your brand. Oh, wow. You know, as I listen to you, as I listen to you, I realize there's so much that goes into branding. There is so much. You are a super coach. You know why I love what you do? You're not just branding. You're just, you are a graphic, excellent, excellent graphic. <laughs> Design. You're that person that takes what's in someone's head and brings it to life. And oftentimes, you know, picture says a thousand words without you saying anything. And I know because when I go to Women's Coaching Association and look at it, I don't have to say much because it says everything through the logo, through the words that I use there. And that's what a great strategy is, branding strategies. That's what you do. And you do. <laughs> So I want to ask you, what makes a brand stand out? The easiest way to make your brand stand out is twofold. One, make it authentic. Don't look around and get lost in what you think the competition's doing. Because by the way, there is no competition. When you get super clear about who you are and who you serve, you will realize that the other people, it doesn't matter. Your ideal clients are meant for you. There are, there are ways that you deliver your message and there are ways that you provide your solutions that no one else can. So make it authentic. Make it about you. Get dive deep into your core values. What, again, what is, the, what is the change you want to affect in the world? What is your vision? What is your mission statement? How are you going to create change? And how are you going to, what are you going to do in the world? So that's the very first thing is make sure it comes from your heart. Make sure it's in alignment with your passion, with your vision. Make it authentic. And the other way to make it stand out, make it cohesive. It doesn't have to have fireworks and sparklers and, and be super explosive and tons and tons of colors to be super powerful. I mean, look at that Nike swoosh. It's a single color, single element, but everybody knows what it is. And that's because it's on everything. Not, the, not just the icon, but they know what that Nike swoosh means. There's a certain customer service, uh, level of customer service that comes with that swoosh. There's a certain product quality that comes with that swoosh. Make it consistent. Make, it, make sure that, that every single piece of your brand, every single piece of, that you create in marketing carries that same level of commitment to your ideal client and commitment to service and quality and amazement. That's the easiest way to stand out. You don't have to have a rainbow of fruit flavors to be seen and to be heard and be noticed. Your ideal client is already looking for you. All you have to sh do is show up and own it, and they're going to meet you at least halfway. It's, it'll, it just flows. The more clear you are about who you are and who you serve, whew, it, it gives you confidence. It, it gives you that clarity just makes everything flow more easily. Everything. I love that conversation. Amber, I love that conversation. Give us, a, once again, those two items that you talked about that makes your brand stand out. The first one is authenticity. Authenticity. Okay. And make it cohesive. Make it consistent. Make it consistent, cohesive. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So what do you think? Why do I need you? <laughs> 
I will tell I mean, you. I why. can go to Fiverr. <laughs> I can go to Fiverr and get it. Why do I need you? I'm not knocking down on Fiverr. There's a lot okay. of professionals in Fiverr, but there sure why are. do I need you? Because you are definitely good, awesome at work. <laughs> here's here's how I look at it, um, and it's it's similar with coaching. There are a lot of people who say, "Here's this box." And I can give you this box. I'm going to fit you in it. I'm going to fold in your corners and squish you into that and make sure you fit because I know this will work, this tiny little package. And they will sell you on that. And if that works for you, that's great. In my experience, that doesn't work for everybody. We are all so different and our stories are all so unique. And the way we deliver our solutions is so different from each other that what you really need to do, what you really want to do to stand out and make and increase the joy and the profits in your business is to have a custom, something custom that's all about you. When I work with coaching clients, they're like, well, what does this look like when I'm done? Like, I don't know. It's your story. My genius is in asking you the right questions and helping you create clarity from the chaos in your brain. There are, especially when you're an entrepreneur, you are like, I, want, I could do this and I could do this and I could go all these other places. <laughs> but how do I share all that? And it's my job to help you craft a single message that clearly explains what you do and engages and inspires your ideal client when you speak to them. That's not something you can get out of a package box. The other part of that is fiber is great. If what you want is a logo, that's an icon and that's awesome. I will tell one of my saddest, most favorite stories is I was working with a woman who wanted a logo and I said, okay, but this is how that works. But there's a conversation about that to make sure it truly reflects who, you're at, who you are and projects your vision out to the world. And this is the price on that, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, I'm going to go through Fiverr. I said, I totally understand. Sometimes the budget's there, sometimes it's not. And she created this really great logo on, on Fiverr. And she called me not even three weeks later in tears. And she said, Amber, I just saw my logo on someone else's billboard. Oh, wow. She was devastated. She'd already printed brochures. She had printed business cards. She had got her website up and, and was in process of creating the website. And she's like, I have to start over. I have to completely. And I'm like, I, I'm sorry. It's the nice thing about doing something custom. It's an investment in yourself and it's an investment in your business. But your custom logo, your custom business cards, your custom brochures that all take care of your message and your promise to your ideal client and deliver it on a silver platter to your ideal client. That's something that doesn't come in a box. That's something that comes from an amazing conversation that ends in transformation. And that's part of my genius is asking those questions and helping you find the right words that ex clearly explain yourself and engage your ideal client. You know, I, as you were talking, Amber, I can't even, I remember when I called you up to design for Women's Coaching Association. And when you started asking me questions, I realized you, you're more than a coach. You're really <laughs> more than a coach. In my mind, I'm going, why is she asking me all this question? But when you <laughs> finished the banner, I realized, oh my God, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> you just, like you said, you bring everything in my head back to life. When you look at that banner, you know exactly what Women's Coaching Association is all about. That our logo is women with the power to change the world. And how do we do it? We do it one life at a time. I mean, that logo the design, everything are very cohesive that you know exactly what we stand for. And you are so right. So let me ask you, what would I be losing? For somebody who's out there, what would they be losing by not hiring a professional designer or a brand strategist? What would they be losing? Why? You're, the biggest thing I could say is you're going to lose time. You're going to lose time. You're going to lose money. And worst case scenario is you're going to lose your passion. Um, it's part of why I am specifically work with entrepreneurs is because I watch them make that leap from corporate to entrepreneurship or even just from, you know, I, I work with a lot of, you know, they, they come right out of the gate in 20, young 20s going, okay, I have this passion. I'm so excited about this one thing and I want to create this change in the world. This is my vision. 
And without creating an amazing brand that is clear and consistent and converts people, they're a year or two into it and they've lost momentum. They've lost their joy. Their light goes out. They are so concerned about what the competitors are doing. They have this to-do list that's nothing but shoulda, 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 shouldas instead of I love to do, I love to do, I love to do. And they're attracting people who are not meant for them. They're attracting people who question their value, who want them to do something outside of their genius zone. They are taken from, I have so much joy and so much momentum and so much promise and so much hope. And then just the basic struggles of every single day just wears them down. They're not making the money they want to make. They're working with people that make them tired. But I'm like, that's, that's my biggest thing is I don't want to work with people who make me twitch. I, if you, if you are not open to change and open to having some conversations, I'm probably not for you. But if you're really ready to get some amazing clarity and get back in touch with your joy and your passion and create a brand that reflects that and makes the money and lets you work with who you want to work with, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing. You could get there by yourself, maybe, wow. probably, You're but it's going to take years you're going to lose so much time and momentum and money. And, and then the world doesn't get to hear from you until years down the road when you finally got it all together. It's just, and it's way fun. I'm way fun. <laughs> we well, have a good time. <laughs> you, you, I'm, I'm not going to let you get away without repeating what you just said, because I don't want the <laughs> audience to lose it. Just give us three things that we are going to be missing, but not hiring. You, you are going to miss out on potential income. You are going to waste a lot of time spinning your wheels, not making the impact you want to make. And you are going to lose sight of your vision. You are going to do things the hard way. And it's just, it just wears you down. I've seen it. You know, you who's listening, you know, it's you. <laughs> when you get up and think my schedule is full of people. I don't want to talk to today. That's when we need to have a conversation. Awesome. So I know you've been working with a lot of top businesses. You've been working with a lot of top business owners, designing for them, helping them bring whatever they have in their head to reality and making lots and lots of money. So what can you, what three things, what three mistakes can you share from your clients that they make? The first one would be to not share your vision with everyone you know. And the easiest way to do that is to write it down in writing on your wall. You should read it out loud every single day. Whether you just have one person on your team or you have a team of a hundred or it's just your tribe on Facebook or whatever, you should share your vision with everyone you come in contact with. It just, re it just resolves, confirms that resolution in your mind and keeps you focused on what you are creating. It's huge. Distraction's a killer. The second thing would be to get caught up in the weeds, get distracted by what your competition's doing and doing things without there being a purpose. I tell people there's a lot of noise out there, especially with social media. Don't get quiet. Get loud, but get loud with a purpose. Be specific, be clear, and go where your audience is. Don't do Facebook because everybody else in your industry does Facebook. If your idle client's not on Facebook, knock it off. Don't worry about Facebook. That's not your place. If they are in networking, be networking. If your people don't network, then stop networking. So be super clear about what you are doing and where your idle client is. Don't worry about your competition. The third one is not being consistent. And I have a tool called your branding soundtrack, which is the collection of everything in your brand. It is the one stop resource for everything in your business. It keeps you on track. It keeps your vision for front and foremost, your mission statement. Yes, they're different. It has your idle client avatar. It has sample marketing and, and writing. So people understand your tone. It has a list of every single thing in your brand so that you can keep it up to date. If you change something, you can change everything. So there's no stragglers, no one left behind, but it keeps everything in a single document. So if you hire someone 
um, as a staff, it's here. Here's my company. Learn it, live it, love it. If you outsource your social media, if you outsource your accounting, if you hire a printer or a designer or a developer, you send them this soundtrack and say, these are my colors, these are my fonts, this is my vision, this is my tone, this is how I work with people, keep that up. And because then you have the entire world conspiring to help you keep your brand consistent. So those are the three things. Awesome. I mean, I cannot wait to bring you back because I know you have so much, so much to talk about. <laughs> you really, you are genius in what you do. So Thanks. audience, if you are listening, if you are listening to my voice, I'm watching this right now. This is a great conversation. And I want to remind you to go to also, you can go to rockyourbrilliance.com and find out how I can work with you to be able to express your brilliant value. Again, you can go to rockyourbrilliance.com so that you can find out how you and I can work together. Rockyourbrilliance.com and schedule for a strategy session. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just you and I have a conversation. Or you can always go to womenscoachingassociation.com. Womenscoachingassociation.com and become a maid a member of this amazing association. And what I haven't told you is that Amber is also a resource and an expert member of this Women Coaching Association. So Amber, why did you say yes when I called you to become a resource member? Oh my goodness. It just is so in alignment with what I wanna create in the world. You are trying to support women entrepreneurs. Why not have them all collectively here where we can we can help each other, you know, lift as we climb. Everybody gets to succeed. Everyone gets to thrive. And so when you said, Hey, by the way, I'm creating this. I went, yay. Yes, yes, yes. Those are my people. Let's support these people. Let's support these entrepreneurs who they really, when you start your business, you have this one thing that you're really good at. It's probably not branding. It's probably not marketing. I mean, it's probably, you're really good at this one thing. So why not tap into a resource? and a collection of resources that can support you so you don't have to do things the hard way, so you get to success faster. Awesome. That's what I said. Yes. You know, I look forward to collaborating, partnering, and really working with you. And I cannot help. I mean, I can't even, I can't even, I can't, I see it. I can only imagine the force that women coming together can bring <sighs> in this amazing that's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So <laughs> before we end, um, like I said, I hope I can bring you back next time, but we're going to end today. But before we close, I know you have amazing thing to give our audience. So share with us how you can work with our audience. The easiest, fastest way to get a hold of me go to please yourbrandbydesign.com forward slash discovery duet. Discovery Duet is a private one-on-one -on -one conversation, just me and you, completely complimentary, where we spend some time figuring out where you are in your business, where you're, what you're trying to create, and create a path from here to there. The straightest, fastest, most joyful, most profitable path. And that conversation all starts with the Discovery Duet. So go to yourbrandbydesign.com forward slash Discovery Duet, and you'll get a direct link right into my calendar, Find a spot that works with your schedule and let's connect. Awesome. Audience, I hope you guys take advantage of that amazing, amazing offer that Amber has given you. And next time, please join us again next Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Next Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And be sure to share this message. Don't just hoard it. Don't just keep this message to yourself. That's a lot of people that perhaps if they see this message, if they see this video, it will really help them a whole lot in getting their branding worked for them. Listen, you are the only person that can make a difference in what you're trying to do. But again, you sometimes need other people to help you get there. You have the idea, but sometimes bringing that idea to fruition may need require you to have other people help you, support you. And this is why we get together. 
join me again, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you so much, Amber, and I look forward to connecting with you again. Thank you. Thank you so much.